In this video, we're going to show you a feature in Cadence Blocks 3.0 that can help you create this type text effect that we see on the Nexus homepage. Here we see a number of different features of performant hosting spelled out on the headline. So we see words like expertise and performance, peace of mind, different benefits of having a great host. This is all being typed out by an effect that also can be done in Cadence Blocks. So if you have a product that has a number of different benefits and you want to show all of that in this particular way, you can do that using Cadence Blocks. We're going to take a look at Sally's cat blog and see how we can do that with Sally's headline here. Now Sally has a headline that is set up that just basically says this is a cat blog by Sally and she wants to make sure she ranks well for a cat blog so we have to take that into consideration but we want to add some different uh, descriptives for this particular blog and to have that same type of effect. So we're going to go in and edit this home page using Cadence Blocks. This has been set up using advanced text. Now we could take this particular word and we can highlight that and we can go down here to where we see typed text. Here we can set up the cursor any way we'd like. We would like those words to loop all of the different strings that we set up here. And so we are going to leave looped typing on. And then we can add in a variety of different strings. So let's say we want to add feline as a string. We want to add kitten as a string and chonky cat as another string. Everybody loves the chonky cats. And then of course we have all of our different speed settings. So we have all of that set. So let's go ahead and update this page and take a look at what that looks like. Now here we see all of those different words being typed in there, but it's kind of a disruptive effect here because we have it all on one single line. So everything's kind of jumping around. So let's change that effect so it looks a little more like this. So we're isolating our words. It won't jump around quite so much. Let's go back to edit that page. How do we do this? Well, we are going to edit this particular advanced text block. We're just going to backspace. Okay, and then we want to put another advanced text item in here and we're going to put cat and we want to make sure that it has the same weight. Up here we have an H1 and it's set to XL. Let's go down here. We have H2. Let's go ahead and set that to heading one and we are going to do that as an XL. And down here, we're going to do more text. So we're going to use another advanced text block. And we'll put blog by Sally there. We want to keep that as H1 also. And we'll set that up so that it is all the same weight here. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what that looks like on the front end. And that's all looking pretty good. We might want to adjust some spacing and whatnot, but let's just keep it as it is for this particular type of effect. So here, now we've got this isolated. And if we take a look at our list view, we can see a number of different advanced text blocks here. So this first one is the, this is a, here we have cat. Here we have blog by Sally and then down here is some more descriptive text. So let's go back and get that cat particular string and we would like to do the typed text on that. So we go over here to where this arrow is and you can find your typed text and we can do that the same exact way. We can set up feline, kitten, and chonky, oops, spelled it wrong, chonky cat. So we'll just do three strings there as an example. And then that speed was kind of fast. So we wanted it to start right away. We could delay that a little bit. Let's put that maybe as a hundred. Um, we can do our back delay. We can make that longer type speed. We can make that um, longer as well. If we wanted to make that a little bit 
longer there. So we've got all of those set up. Let's take a look and see what that looks like. Oh, I wanted to do one thing. I wanted to change the color of that so that it is more highlighted for that particular line right there, similar to what we saw on Nexus's site. And then we can go view the page and see what happens. And see, we slowed everything down a bit. Of course, we could take that cursor out if we wanted, but we are getting that exact same effect here. And it looks like it's working. So that is how you use typed text using Cadence Blocks. This is part of the free version of Cadence Blocks 3.0 that dropped in late February. So if you are using Cadence Blocks, this is an effect that you can add to your site to draw attention towards whatever you want. One thing to make a note of, that first word that we had listed on the site, that's what the search engines are going to pick up on. So we had cat there, so that would be what the search engines are going to pick up on when they crawl your site. Thanks for watching.